I got well, 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 if it isn't taste made. Hi guys, I'm Delaney Rowe and this is my house specialty video. I'm having some friends over for dinner to show them my house specialty recipe and to make me look cool. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like prep everything that I can so that I'm not stressed when everybody gets here and I can still hang. Got the oven preheating to 400 degrees right now and I'm going to like pre-bake these. All right, I'm just gonna hit these with a ton of pepper. We're gonna do so much salt because these bad boys can take it. Um, and then so much olive oil. And I'm just gonna rub that all in. And then at, in the end, I'm gonna add like a little honey glaze, but that doesn't happen to the end. If it happens now, uh, the carrots will like, the sugar from the honey will burn the carrots. Great, these are going in for about 40 minutes at 400 degrees. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep this bread. Half of this I'm going to just drizzle in olive oil and toast. The other half is gonna become croutons. Um, and now I'm just going to brush these chunks of bread with olive oil. And these are gonna go in the oven along with the carrots at 400 degrees for like 10, 15 minutes. Now this bread is just gonna get torn into chunks, little chunks. One rule for cooking. I think it's salt and pepper. I, I, don't, I literally don't know what else you need. Also look, when I'm cooking for people, I'm trying to impress them. This is not the time to be healthy. There is so much oil and salt in this meal, um, but it's gonna taste really good. All right, next thing I wanna do is do a little salad dressing, and that's gonna be clove of raw garlic, half of a lemon, and I'm gonna add this uh, organic tahini. Everything gets salt and pepper, always, 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 always. But I'm just gonna use the rest of this olive oil in here that I was using for, for the bread slices. A little bit of water here, and let's stir, stir, stir. Like Deal, 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 deal. I'm gonna lay out the chicken and I'm gonna put some spices on there and let it come to room temp so that the skin gets crispy. I'm gonna hit this with, you guessed it, lots of pepper. Cinnamon. Um, okay, and then I'll go in with a uh, nutmeg. And then we're gonna do olive oil. I'm just gonna rub that it all together. All right, we got the chicken in the pan browning. This is about half the chicken and I'm gonna do the other half in a second batch. And then here's all the browned chicken and this is gonna go in the oven at 375 for about two an hour. Another little thing I like to do when I'm having a group of people over who don't really know each other that well, I do this game. I write questions on a piece of paper that correspond to the amount of people who are at the dinner and I put them in a little hat and I make everybody go around and, I, and answer these uh, questions that I've made up live in front of everyone. Okay, the questions are written. And I just put out the appetizers and I'll show you guys what I did here. Here we just have the bread that I toasted and some brie, a little prosciutto. And then over here we have some shrimp on ice with lemon wedges and then the cocktail sauce and a little bowl for the tails. Okay, everyone's here. Great, doing this rice salad situation, I'm gonna add some mango to this rice that I made. Okay, just added a bunch of dill here. Now I'm gonna add all this red onion, pepper, obviously, salt, olive oil. All right, we got the chicken, we got the rice salad, we got the, the normal salad, we got the carrots, let's fucking eat. <laughs> It's the next morning um, and last night went great. The recipes were flawless and everybody loved everything. Um, downside of having people over for dinner is that um, the cleanup is an absolute bitch. I just wanted to show you what we're dealing with. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much Tastemate for um, having me do this video and it was a delight. And I hope that this inspires you to cook chicken confit and to host people because it's the best feeling in the world. All right, love you.